Hi everyone, welcome to the channel Handmade. Today, I'm going to show you how I made a Russian Van Gazelle next, out of plasticine clay, and then I'll crash it. That's how it looks right now. I covered all the windows and prepared the car body for painting. I'm going to use spray paint, but first, I have to apply a layer of primer, and only then I'll apply the main orange color. So now, time to add the finishing touch. For its creation, I've used the hard NSP plastiline and plasticine clay. It took me 52 hours and 7 days to create this car. I made this model using the blueprints and pictures from the internet, since I failed in finding the 3D model of this car. Usually, I get my inspiration from the video game Forza Horizon 4 and the mobile app Form a Car, and other similar games with cars. I didn't paint the model very well. Paint drips are visible. I had to use all the spray paint to cover it more or less evenly. This quality of paint is enough because I will crash it soon, so there is no point in making it high quality. I detailed this model very well. In the interior you can see the seats, dashboard and others. Also I made the engine in this car. Let's take a look under the hood. The bottom of this car is also detailed quite well. There is nothing inside the car. I decided not to add extra weight. Also, I made the fully functioning running gear so the wheels can rotate and it can drive. How am I going to crash it, and why? I usually crash passenger cars, so it will be interesting to see what will happen to this van after a few collisions. How much the car body will bend when there is nothing inside, only a frame. I will crash this van by RC Car, which has a bumper with several layers of plasticine plates attached to the front of it. In a collision they will deform, so the damage won't be as strong as it could be. This Jeep will accelerate along the created track, and will crash into this van at the end of the track. Here's what it might look like. First, there will be a head-on collision. Well, let's get started. Are you ready to watch this? The first collision didn't cause any severe damage, as the speed was low. Only the bumper and the radiator grill were damaged, and the plastic glass was also bent out of the fasteners. There are also small dents in the back of the van from the collision with the wall. The rear bumper became flat due to the collision, and the doors also bent slightly inward. Now I'm going to hit the front again, but at a much faster speed.
Now the damage has become much stronger. The bumper and grille are bent deeper. Thanks to the strong engine, the front part did not shift much to the interior. Above the rear wheel, a part of the body arched due to the collision. It looks as if someone has bent it from the inside. The rear of the car became even flatter. And here there was a big bend. It looks quite realistic. There are dents, scratches, and cracks. It doesn't compare to damage in Grand Theft Auto V. Of course, such damage is due to the flimsy construction. And besides, the collision was very strong. This is what happened to the bottom of this van after all these collisions. It's all fallen off this van, and now you'll see what's left of it. Wow, it was a very strong collision. Plus, it hit the wall hard. The doors couldn't withstand such a collision and broke. I decided to add a pencil to this bumper to damage the upper part of the body during the collision because it turns out that only the lower part is destroyed. I missed a bit. I wanted to crash into the center but it didn't work out. It looks like it's been hit by a train at full speed. I don't take the car in my hands because I see that it is going to fall apart. Let's run the last collision right to the center of the van. I think it will be the end of this van. This is one of the toughest crash tests on the channel. It was epic. I like the way it crashed. It looks like it's been hacked to pieces by some digger with its heavy bucket. Now this van is going to the dump in the broken cars from Plasticine, which is stored on a separate shelf.
Now I'm going to show you the creation process of this van step by step. I hope this video was interesting for you. So if you like my unusual plasticine creativity, subscribe to my channel and like the video. I will hone my craft to please you with the new improved plasticine cars. Thanks for watching my video. See you.